Hello everybody, welcome back to Banished. I'm Paradox Gamer here. And uh, I'm proud to uh, present to you the new addition to the Colonial Charter Mod. It's called Iron Curtain. And it's uh, version 1.2 of the Colonial Charter. So first of all, let me uh, just go through quickly what uh, what's new. Um, we got some new buildings, Country House which can be upgraded to nice country house and fancy country house. We got the town abode and a townhouse which can be upgraded to a nice townhouse, fancy townhouse and large residence. We got the manor which can be uh, upgraded to mansion and estate. And we got a tiny shack which can which can be upgraded to tiny house. We got the quayside house, the log cabins charcoal burner, brickworks and large smithy which is an upgrade to the uh, blacksmith. Other than that there's a large uh, number of um, eye candy you can call it. All new flower beds, new hedges, half hedges, stone bridges, decorative punishment items, some decorative log items, decorative crates, quay walls, colonial walls, palisade walls, brick roads, the sawmill has been introduced. Uh, meat locker, town buckeye tree, town purple beech tree, parish house F variant, white mulberry orchard, plaza road pieces, uh, native trees spawn on map, reeds spawn on river fronts, balanced the tweaks, new loading screens, and new menu music. And the mulberry leaves are no longer produced at the mulberry grove. A new wild white mulberry orchard will produce the white mulberry leaves for the silkworm hut. Uh, right. So what I did here, as you can see here on the map, <coughs> I laid out my uh, my new town. So I started all fresh. And uh, let me just take you through what I have done so far here. So what you see overall here is the two circles. You got a circle up here and a circle down here. The circle up here is the market. I've placed the market in the middle here so that it engulfs the uh, trading post, the uh, fishing dock and all the uh, houses in this area also all houses in this area down here so all houses are encompassed by the uh, market circle right so I have no roads up here yet this is all um, gonna be built later on so this is the um, trading post we have laid out here and the fishing dock and also a storage barn as well as three stone houses So the other circle here is the um, the forester's lodge, and uh, this circle is where we will grow the trees. There's a little bit of water on the edge over here, and just a little bit of hill over here as well. But I think it's placed pretty well anyway, and it's butted up against the market circle right here. Now inside this tree node, or forest node. You will have the um, Forester's Lodge here. Then you'll have the Gatherer's Hut. We have a Woodcutter. And we have a Hunting Cabin. And that's a crossroad of road going through here. Then further down here we have a storage barn. And we have a stockpile. Stockpile can always be removed later or made smaller. We'll see how big a stockpile will need. And then we have the road connecting out to the uh, place where people are gonna live. So we got lots of houses queued up here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight houses queued up here, all made of stone. And that's because the stone houses uses one third the amount of firewood that the uh, wooden houses uh, uses. Then we have uh, a school. And that is, the school is actually lying outside of the market um, circles. That's fine. 
the school doesn't need the market. Then we have the blacksmith here, and we have the tailor. Everything is queued up, and then here, outside both circles, we have another stockpile. So the whole idea here is to um, to be in control of where you have various things. Um, the most notable difference from the last game is that I have taken all the houses out of the forest node, and um, because they will have to be uh, inside the market circle. So there's a little bit of traveling time for the uh, workers who work in here when they have to go home. Uh, but uh, on the other hand, I put a storage barn in here, which I didn't have before. Before, I have the woodcutter and the storage barn outside of the node. So the production of um, firewood will be sped up quite a lot, as well as the actual work of the gatherer and the hunters because they can just put everything in the storage barn right away. So that's the trade-off here. Alright, so th of course the fishing uh, dock is not optimally placed here. Uh, it only covers half of the water inside this circle. Or the water covers half of the circle rather. But uh, we got no optimal uh, space for, uh, for f uh, the fishermen right now. That might be uh, like here a good place for a fisherman so we can move it later on but for now we will need food to start out with okay so what we want to do is we want to find out the um, the correct uh, uh, what can you say uh, the, the best way of building all this stuff or the correct uh, sequence rather um, so remember what we need first is uh, food and uh, another thing I found out is that you actually don't need houses for everybody right away you actually just need one house and this one house will be stocked with um, with firewood and then uh, when the people are feeling cold they will simply walk to that one house stand there for a couple of seconds get warm and then we'll go back to work. Um, so we will only be build one house to start with, and then we will build the other houses when we get the time for it, when we get the resources. Right. So what do we want to do first? Well, I think uh, the first thing to do is to. Um, well, first of all. I have a road planned out, and um, as soon as, as I uh, put a builder on, like this, um, the, that person will start building the road, so, uh, and also the stockpile. What's the stockpile? Here it is. Um, everybody else will be laborers, and they will start... Um, they will start. They should start collecting some stuff. So, what we want is um, let me see. We want the gatherer's hut first, and the gatherer's hut is this one here. We can see that it needs thirty locks, twelve stone. So we need to gather that. Luckily, we have a lot of uh, materials on the ground here. So, um, let's go ahead and assign some uh, some jobs here. And we want to cut down all the wood in this area right here. And gather all some of some of the stone that is lying right. Here. We should we should actually take some of the stone that's inside the circle here. Let's go ahead and queue up some wood cutting. And we'll start with this area right here. Let's just get all this wood. Oh, we can't do that because it's uh, where the buildings are. Okay. In that case, let's just take the woods that's right here. 
And let's get some stone from inside the circle here. We'll have some stone right here. So let's go and collect that. Alright. Let's uh, let's get the builders uh, going. Also, let's yeah, we'll we'll, get, we'll un uh, unforbid the gatherer's hut as soon as we get some materials. We should actually unforbid that now, so that they can um, yeah, let's unforbid this, so they can clear out the uh, area here. Okay, let's see how that goes. Speed five. Here they go. So you got people chopping down trees here. And we got people uh, clearing out the stockpile here. And also clearing out the gatherer's hut. Alright, so just pause. We got both stockpiles up and running here. So the one uh, builder we have right now is uh, working on the roads. And everybody else is uh, working on chopping down trees and gathering stone. Now I want to chop down some more trees. So let's put another... Put another job in here. And so this one needs 30 logs and 12 stone. Okay, everything is cleared out, so they just need uh, to bring the stuff over. You got the builder building the road. And now and then they have to go back to the cart and get some food. That's, uh, of course, unfortunate. But uh, there's no way around that. Yeah, they've picked up some stuff now, they're taking it to the gatherer's hut. There we go. And they got everything they need here. So let's assign a couple of builders for that. They will chop down the trees I told them to over here. And they should also get some more stone in this area here. Okay, so we got the gatherer's hut up, and we want to put uh, we want to put two guys on there right away. So there we go. Two guys working on that, and the next thing we want to build is um, probably the storage barn. which is right here, let's unforbid that. We'll need 16 stone and 48 logs, we already have that. Let's get that going. That way they won't have to go all the way to the cart every time to bring the food, or to get the food.
and having a stockpile nearby here is uh, very handy. Yeah, everybody has to go and, and eat sometimes. That's that's unfortunate, but uh, soon we'll have the storage barn up, and then we'll be that problem will be partially solved. So we got to work on the storage barn here. Just need to bring all the stuff in. That's pretty quick because it's right next to. Still some roads being built here, but I think the roading is uh, is done now. Need a little bit more stone here, and then the storage barn can go up. I don't know if I have uh, anything signed up for my workers, so let's go ahead and chop down some more trees. We need more wood. Uh, let's harvest trees in this area right here. You're gonna need one house and uh, the wood cutter up and running as well. Right, so for a stone house, we will need 40 stone and 10 iron. We got the 40 stone. So let's go ahead and assign some iron job. I think we have iron right next to here. Yeah, that's something right there. Don't know if that's enough. We'll find out. So the storage barn is almost complete here. Right, they should, the gatherers should start putting food into that instead of uh, the cart. Uh, so that should speed things up considerably. Let's unforbid the first house. So we'll see if that uh, theory holds true, that we only need that one house to start with. Yeah, it looks like they're picking up food from the uh, storage barn. That's perfect. It is now uh, early autumn, so we should have the, the house up pr uh, pretty soon. And also, I'd like to get the woodcutter up. Is that this one? Well, that's the forest is large. Here's the woodcutter. Let's unforbid that as well. It needs eight stone only and twenty-four logs. So I think we have that already. And that was the end of the timer. Uh, it seems that uh, they should, they are in quite a hurry to get this stone house built. Um, 
at least we got all the materials so they just need to haul it there and start building it so I think they might be able to get it, get it done before the winter but they also need some uh, firewood of course so I think this start here is a bit slower than the one I had in my uh, previous game but uh, let's see how it goes anyway I'm gonna put a cut in here and uh, see you in the next video bye bye